Hello, short clip on the idea behind the acceptance rejection method or the acceptance rejection sampling. First, what's the goal? The goal of this method is to generate random numbers with a specific probability distribution. What does that mean? Imagine you have a random variable that creates numbers with this distribution. That means the numbers between 0 and 1 are pretty often, but numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10 are not so often. However, if you use a computer program to generate these numbers, you get a uniform distribution. That means that every number appears equally often. So here you have your target distribution, and this is your given distribution. Now, the idea behind the acceptance rejection method is you take your given distribution, let's do this here, live, and you take your target distribution and use the target distribution kind of like a mask. You put them on top of each other, like this. And then you start creating values, and every time when you hit a value that's below the green line, below your mask, you will accept it. But every time, if it's above, sorry, above the mask, you will reject it and try again. That is the idea behind the acceptance rejection method. However, there's one thing that might bug you as well as it bugged me, that is, this is a distribution, right? That means that if you generate random values, you don't generate any values here on this y-axis, right? So what you accept, what you actually do is you, you generate values here and then you count them. So this is a count. So the question is, if you use the target distribution function as a mask, how can you actually do that? How can you like mask out a distribution? And that's the content of the next video.